Hey everyone, this is Brian Tree with the Coastline Real Estate Team down here in the Greater Wilmington area with Blue Coast Realty Corporation. Uh, today's update is Topsail Island. Is the market going up? Is it going down? What is going on? So we're going to dive right into it and take a look at some of the past uh, figures that we have. I did a uh, statistical market analysis of Topsail Island, including North Topsail, Surf City, and Topsail Beach. So it includes the whole 21 mile barrier island and it includes everything from condos to oceanfront houses townhomes everything on the island so let's take a closer look at some of these uh these statistics here and get a better grip on kind of what is going on so this is what is going on right now we have basically around you know 119 uh, active listings uh within the past year we've closed about 583 properties on the island and the range is basically from the low of 147 that's pretty low to about 2.7 million dollars here so what uh this is great the data is great but what does this mean and what direction is the market heading right now so uh a nice little form that i use is this uh this little formula these are all figures based on that data so basically, if you dive in here, you will see that this is uh, this column right in here is from seven months back to 12 months back. And this is four to six. And this is uh, three months going back to our current uh, date today, February 25th, 2023. So those columns, if you look at the trend, we're going to go and take a look at this. Um, seven to 12 months ago, we had around, uh, you know, 356 closed settle sales, um, four to six months, only 127. And then in the past three months, we've only had a hundred settle sales here. So that is trending down. Okay. So let's take a look at the listings. How many listings have we added in those sectors? So seven to 12 months back, we added about 104, uh, six, uh, four to six, about 128 listings in about uh, the past three months, about 119. Now those numbers kind of, those are staying uh, relatively steady right now, but what that is doing is it is allowing us uh, to have more total homes on the market. So we have more um, months of housing supply, which when you have a greater supply, as you'll see, prices are tending to trending uh, slightly downward right now. So if you can look at the trend here, these three figures, this is the absorption rate. This is how many homes the market can close or the market is absorbing in those three sections of seven to 12 months, four to six months, and in the past three months. As you see, that number is trending downward if you look at the absorption rate that are the um the month uh the housing supply you will see that these figures here are trending upward so that right there is telling you that there's more houses on the market now than they were in the previous months now what does that usually dictate for the marketplace well prices are trending slightly downward so as you see here this figure right here shows you if you go back 12 to seven months, sellers were getting around 100% of asking. Four to six months, it drops down to about 98%. And then three months going back, 97%. So as you can see, price, it's still a very good market, but prices aren't, we're not getting that over asking. We're not getting that 100% of asking anymore. So they're kind of coming back to maybe a more of a more uh, stable market. These are the areas that we cover um, with Tri-County area, Pender County, New Hanover, and Brunswick County. If you uh, are, have, are curious about selling your house and figuring, you know, figuring out uh, what, what it might be worth, feel free to give us a call and we will see you here on the next update.